Welcome to another episode of Hereford FC here in Vanilla FM and today we're going to take a look at the new season 2033-2034. If you've been following the series uh, you will know that this is our second season in Skybet League 1 and at the end of the last episode we were waiting a decision for a potential purchase of the club. Um, and it turns out that the deal did go ahead after some four months of delay and we are now um, owned by a funds trust. They did not invest in the club but they did clear out the debt that we were in. We are now about half a million in the black and yeah we I think they did that via a loan, partly via a loan and partly by a small amount of a very very small amount of investment but um yeah there we are we are out of debt for the first time since uh 2028 so there's been a few years in the debt for us we are going to be hoping to maintain that if we can um as far as the squad we have not done many changes we've done three main changes and a fourth one which i will explain uh, so the first change is regarding to a new goalkeeper that we've just been able to bring in on loan. We had our eye on him for a while and he's been in the club before, so he's just coming back. Um, then other than that, we had a new left defender, Seamus uh, um, McGowan. We managed to... Um, basically transfer a loan deal that became um, that belonged to Dorkin. Um, so he was Dorkin in, um, in on loan and now we've brought him over to the club. The other change is at the f um, near the front um, we have Rodney Brewster as a new inside inver inverted winger um, on the right side of attack. And then the f that fourth change is actually not a change in player, but just a change in deal. So Ollie McCauley is now with us on a permanent deal. He was with us on a loan before. So four small changes. The team is still uh, very cohesive because it mainly there were no changes really, not even any players promoted from the youth. And there aren't no really um, youth players within the club that are ready to play. Um, in the main squad, so that means we have very good cohesion, very good dynamics, and hierarchy, and everything going on. So we will hopefully have a better start to the season. I went ahead and played two matches already. We drew against Coventry for the league, and we won four two against Aldershot for the Carabao Cup first round. We are about to face Oldham, so let's go ahead and do that. We had to rest some players and bring one or two players from the youth to kind of fill in some gaps because we had a few matches back to back and there are some players who are tired and others are injured. Now looking ahead to the next version of the game, I'm going to attempt to play the beta as soon as it comes out or as soon as I am aware it will come out. I'm hoping I'll have enough time to, to, to do that. Life is a little bit busy at the moment but I'm hoping that um, I'll have enough time to play the beta and to explore some features. I'm looking forward to the squad planner and to see how that plays out and how we can utilize that. Now the plan is to start another Hereford save, but um, rather than me trying to, you know, essentially replace the whole squad as soon as I take charge, I'm gonna give the current players um, I haven't decided until winter or maybe until the end of the season, so I'll have to just maybe I'll have to find just one or two players to plug in some gaps. But I'm going to attempt to use the existing squad of Hereford for half a season or for a whole season, and then in the second season, then start to build my own squad. So that will put some constraints, and in that case, I will I will use that beta save to to kind of check out how the squad planner might help me achieve that by better utilizing the players that was already exist in Hereford. So we'll see. Stay tuned for that. Um, I'm actually going to do a little Google of where the Hereford club is at at the moment. I don't think they've been promoted. I think they'll still be in the Vanarama North. I'm 
I'm just gonna do a little Google. Bear with. Yeah, so they are staying in the National Panorama North League. Um, and they are currently actually in 15th out of 24. So we'll still be playing in the same leagues as before, coming up from the bottom league all the way up from the leagues. <coughs> I'm going to do some substitutions this break. Is the game paused? Did I pause it by accident? No. Okay, I don't know why it's gone like that. Strange, isn't it? It's just paused, but it's not paused. It's waiting for a highlight. Maybe it's broken. Okay. I'm gonna just come out of this and... Come on, you can do this. Yeah. Seems to be broken. If I do a substitution, will it... Will it unbreak itself? No. Okay. I'm gonna pause it here and um, try and fix it. I might have to restart this match, uh, but I'll be with you in just a second. So I don't know what happened there, really, but um, reload the game. Let's try and go ahead as before. We're gonna have to play through that first half again, but Yes, so as far as the players on the pitch at the moment, um, I've gone for a mixture of new players and the existing players that we had in the squad. And also there's a couple of um, youth players on the pitch. We got Ruben Townsend, he was our best goalkeeper last season. Uh, Mackenzie, McManus, Broman, Brogan and Horn, they're all players that were with us last season. So is Ulanen, McBride. Uh, Giscom and White. Now, uh, also a Carter, I think. Um, BT is the only one from under 23s. Both our right um, midfielders, right attacking midfielders, are. I think one of them is injured, the other one's just really tired, so. We have to sub them off. We had our first goal here by Stephen White. Stephen White that scored a hat trick against Aldershot for the Kerak Cup. He's turning out to be one of our main goal scorers already, with, as far as I remember, four goals to his name this season already. In, in, I want to say two games, I'm not sure he'd be played against, I don't think actually, I don't think he played against um, Coventry for the, for the first league match. Wait, what was that? There's a penalty for uh, handballing, I think. Unlucky there by White, but he scored a goal anyway. So five goals to his name this season. Replaced by Ian Davis. And hopefully, it won't break again at, at the half time. <coughs> okay, so it's half time. Um, I've got no changes to make, so let's carry on. Rescues the ball. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. You got the ball back. <clears throat> I'm still suffering with a little bit of a cold, so. Still a little bit throaty. Oh, that nearly wasn't all to go. Stephen White with another hat trick. Two hat tricks in two consecutive games. He's starting the season very well. Very impressed with him. I hope it carries on. I think the relationship with the rest of the team is important. Um, I'm glad that we were able to keep um, all of our players from last season, except the loaned players. Um, obviously, we managed to get uh, Ollie McCauley back on a permanent deal as well, so that's good. So that means that all of these players now have you know, a report, they know how to play together, they played together last season, and the majority of them, minus three changes then, um, still with us this season. I'm going to put one of our new players in, Brewster, and we still have room for one more sub. And I think I'm going to replace McBride with someone with a bit more fresh freshness on the pitch. And that seems to be it, you know, 3-0 against Oldham, we've managed to not concede any um, cards either, so that's good. And there we have it, we have completed our third match of the season now, we are up in second for the time being, with a lot of people um, with four points at the moment. And no one at six yet, which is interesting. And we're just going to continue and crack on with um, with the season and see where we land in about three months or so. So I'll, if I am able to record any more op episodes before the beta of FM 2023 comes out, then I will update you on how this safe is going um, just after the January transfer window. So yeah, thanks so much for watching until the end and take care. Bye-bye.